What is good YouTube, it is your boy Anime Devil Hunter and today I'll be reviewing chapter 12 of Shoujin X. Now it's been a while since I last reviewed Shoujin X but it's okay, I'm back now. I hope you guys enjoyed the chapter, some interesting stuff went down in this chapter to say the least. Shiozaka in his Broly Berserk mode, no one can stop this man. If you are new to Anime Devil Hunter, welcome. Here on this channel we cover all sorts of dope anime and manga content, Jujutsu Kaisen, One Piece, Kaiju number 8, Shoujin X of course and more. So definitely subscribe and join the family. If you end up enjoying the video, feel free to drop a like and definitely comment down below on how you felt about the chapter. Now with that being said, let's begin. So on the cover page, we see Shiozaka's hand holding a baseball and right next to that are the words, talent is a curse, it distorts your way of life. And before moving on to the fun stuff, I have to admit, this is somewhat very true. In our world, many people, including myself, let talent disorder our life. Imagine because a star basketball player who's been deemed by many others as destined to make it into the league or NBA, his mind is so one tracked on making it to the NBA, he doesn't even consider a career and nothing else. So he bets it all on the plate. Unfortunately, something bad happens and he can't ever play basketball again. His ticket to lead him into a good life is gone. And because he never considered a backup and always believed that dream was going to get him where he wanted, he now has no options and he's given up hope. This is what happened to Shiozaka and many other people in real life. There are so many people in the world who place their bets on one dream, and for some it does end up working, but for many it doesn't. As Journey said, some will win, some will lose. Some are born to send the blues. Moving on, in the next page we find out following running into Shiozaka. The other day, Tokyo went and searched up Shiozaka's baseball highlights, and he came to realize Shiozaka was a phenomenal pitcher. In the next panel, we turn to the official cover page, and we're in the present moment, and we have Ellie asking the big old baseball shoujin, is he Shiozaka? Following that, we jump straight into action and see Ozaka in his bestial form. Matter of fact, I'll call it berserk form because I'm pretty sure he has or will at some point get a normal form where he's not as big as a monster and probably won't be able to use the same amount of power, but it'll be somewhat similar and much smaller. And it'll be a power he can control and use. But yeah, Shiozaka picks up a piece of debris and launches it straight at Ellie full speed ahead, pitcher style. And although Ellie manages to block, he leaves or, or dodge. There's no way she could have blocked that. He leaves a huge ass dent in the wall. Ellie realizes she's gonna have to fight and pulls out her smoke power. And she actually manages to land an attack. It doesn't take out Shiozaka, but it does manage to surround him around smoke. Now I do have to say I really like this because we're slowly seeing progress from Ellie. So it seems like the program her and Tokyo are attending is actually helping them. Moving on, after surrounding Shiozaka with smoke, as Ellie gets ready to do another attack, she tells Tokyo the smoke won't reach because it's falling. And while he gets out, She'll keep Shiozaka distracted and lead him away. And then she asks Tokyo if she heard him. Unfortunately, Tokyo did not hear a single word she said because he's trapped between the debris. We then get a funny moment of Ellie and Tokyo going back and forth and asking each other, Can you hear me? <laughs> Tokyo getting stuck like that just reminded me of Luffy when he got stuck in Andy's lobby. Dope ass arc. One of my favorite arcs of all time. In the next panel, we then see Ellie get ready to go at Shiozaka again. While Tokyo thinks out loud, don't do anything reckless on your own, Ellie. I'll think of a way to get out of here. In the next panel, Ellie starts sending more smokes towards Shiozaka's way and thinks, okay, if my smoke can't reach him, then I'll just aim above. So she's trying to overflow Shiozaka with smoke. So eventually he gives up or he gets tired, but I don't think it's gonna be that easy. In the middle of this, Ellie thinks back to when Simon took out the snake girl by stabbing her with the sword. After stabbing her, she went back to normal. So then she says to Shiozaka, I'll weaken you till you have to simmer down. And it's nice seeing um, Ellie oh, use so her knowledge to fight. Back to the chapter. But right in the middle of this, Shiozaka ends up throwing debris so high, ends up hitting a pipe and actually comes down. This leads to smoke everywhere, now making it hard to see. Ellie is now stuck, she can't move, and Shiozaka is about to attack with the pipe. But before this ha could happen, Tokyo finally gets out of the debris and he's now ready to fight. In his full beastification form, he lands a direct hit on Shiozaka, knocking him back. Ellie then tells Tokyo how cool that attack was, and Tokyo is like, I call it the Tokyo Rock hit. Unfortunately, the celebration is quite short because Shiozaka immediately gets up and sends Tokyo flying with a pipe. Swing. And although Tokyo's little moment was short lived, Tokyo is changing, which is a great thing. The old Tokyo wouldn't have even tried to get out the brick. He would have probably called out for help. Maybe Azuma or Ellie. <laughs> and if we're being real, Attacking a berserk shoujin Shiozaka, yes I said berserk shoujin Shiozaka, would have been out of Tokyo's wildest dreams. I'm really interested to see Tokyo's growth to our shoujin X and I can't wait to see Azuma react to Tokyo changing. It'll probably stir some conflict, but we live for that. That's why we read, right? 
Back to the chapter following the swing that sent Tokyo flying, Ellie runs in front of Tokyo to stop any further damage by Shiozaka from killing our boy. <laughs> That's just what it is. Ellie says to Shiozaka, who's still in his berserk soldier form, stop it. Calm down and listen to us. I got no clue what's with the get up, but all we ask you is something. That bank robbery, that was your power, right? Was it for money? Is that how you want to do things? Now, in all honesty, I don't condone stealing and I'm not saying what Shiozaka is doing is right. But he has no parents. He's an older sibling who has two younger siblings he needs to look after. He just had his dreams crushed. The one path that was going to get him into the league and change everything is gone. And if we're being real, Shiozaka doesn't even seem like the kind of person who enjoys robbing to get money. This is more like a what am I supposed to do now? Like, There's nothing else I could do. But to be real and to be fair, he could ask Yamato Mori for help. But I guess it might be hard for him to open up. To be fair, there are some people who like to handle their problems on their own and keep people out of their problems, basically carrying the burden on their own. But the beauty behind this is Ellie and Tokyo want, want to help Shiozaka and help him take on a bit of that burden by trying to help. So really dope stuff happening right now. In the next panel, we see these soldiers with Yamato Mori uniforms here to stop Shiozaka. Black haired dude, I believe his name is Simon, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. He tells Ellie to move aside. He then activates his attack called Second Blade Lone Sword. And I want to put out something real quick. As he does his attack, a little sword appears in his eyes. And I, I don't know if you guys peeped that, but I thought it was dope. I just wanted to point that out. After doing his sword attack, he follows up with a move called Paralyzed Kura Kushi, which electrocutes Shiozaka. And man, this is just crazy to see. Shiozaka is a fucking tank. Simon then tells Monomo, the hot chick he was with, the one we saw earlier, a couple of chapters ago, to go get Shiozaka. She then uses her strength shoujin to choke Shiozaka. And although she did say she'll be as gentle as she can, Tokyo and Ellie can't believe it. They think she killed Shiozaka. Ellie yells, Monomo, did you kill him? In the last panel, we'll see Shiozaka on the floor. And Monomo tells Ellie she didn't kill him and he'll most likely get up. Monomo then says to Shiozaka, if you keep this, you won't be able to turn back. We then see Shiozaka get back up and scream. This time, we see a whole bunch of eyes peeking out of his baseball head. And um, my buddy Pirate Hunter, shout out to him, Pirate Hunter Anime. Definitely go ahead and check his channel out. Really amazing stuff there. I'll link his channel in um, the description. Um, He says something really cool. He pointed out something really dope. Shiozaka's been having all this attention on him since like forever, since he was like a pitcher. And now even as a shojin, he still has all this attention on him. So I think the panel with the eyes peeking out of his baseball head makes a lot of sense. Really dope. Moving on in the final panel, we see the warehouse breaking down like this whole thing is going down to like shreds i can't wait to see how they manage to get shiozaka to turn back or at least calm down these shoujin forms are so damn dope it's kind of reminding me of nen the, the best power system in all of anime and manga like nen is really fire i think shoujin powers could become a really big thing i don't know if it'll be on the same level as nen or even devil fruits but shoujin powers could become really interesting i do have to say i'm really interested to find out why simon shoujin powers have to do with swords maybe something else and being able to use swords is just another power up i guess but if it has to do with swords i'm really interested to see like why specifically swords considering like how we saw um tokyo had that little connection with the vulture thingy and um it's possible that not everybody in the show with shoujin powers has that type of connection or that special thing to them but i think simon is the type of person because considering we see simon as this cold person like he does i mean we only know him for a little bit but he seems pretty cold and i think he has a really sad backstory or interesting backstory as to why he is the way he is today so yeah i'm really looking forward to finding out how he got his powers and you know why is his swords anyways w chapter hope you guys enjoyed the chapter review drop a like if you did just subscribe button for more content comment down below what you thought of the chapter what you think is going to happen next um it is your boy anime devil hunter thank you so much for watching if you made it all the way up to here and you have an awesome day peace